Hi guys, I just started to film this video already um, and then I realized there was something wrong with the phone which I'm filming on so I have to do it again um, but it's an unboxing from Flower Nose so I did another order from Flower Nose when they had like their 6th anniversary sale and you got like some freebies sent I will show the freebies first actually um, one freebie was a mirror um, it says 6th anniversary and it's like the little unicorn on the front and a circus on the back and the mirror is quite cute there we go just normal mirror but then um the background if you shift it it's like holographic it's quite cute it's it's simple compared to the other mirrors they have because they have quite a few um, really nice mirrors um but for freebie super good so there we go by the way the packaging again i mean even like their box packaging is just so pretty. And this second freebie that came when you ordered um, from the 6th anniversary um, sale was a glass mug. <laughs> this one was a bit of an interesting present from a cosmetic company, but fair enough. And as you can see, the glass is has like an iridescent cover. I'm not sure how long this will last because I had like cups before with like iridescent cover and sometimes it like washes off. Um, like you need to be careful. So I guess I will only hand wash it. But look at this this is the lid of the cup super nice and then the cup itself is a bit like faceted it's glass and then on one side you also have like the unicorn and then it says flower nose so yeah very cute this is how it looks like not sure um if i would use it like as a coffee cup um or maybe like as a decorated one and put something in there but very cute okay let me put this to the side and then non-cosmetic items i bought was this one um another berry i thought it was super cute i'll give it to my daughter it's not for me <laughs> um it is like metal here and then puffy fabric and then it says unicorn super cute and it's just like literally in just a normal hair clip a berry to clip in here now things i started to swatch already um but then I realized the camera wasn't wrong, but i show you again. So I also got a lipstick. This is um, in the color C06 Bubble Tea. And it's from their Circus collection, as far as I'm aware. Flower Nose Circus Series. And this is the Satin Lipstick. Again, the packaging. Super nice. The only thing I'm still not the biggest fan of is that the inside... I mean, they package everything really well. But... Um, it's always like plastic stuff on the inside. It would be nice if they would make this paper a bit more environmentally friendly. Whoopsie. Oh, I can't get this out now. I put it back. And now I can't get it. Okay, there we go. So it's metal packaging, by the way. It's like a little metal heart on the front. And it says flower nose. And here it says amazing show. It's all metal. So the cap is metal, the bottom and the front. And... There you have your lipstick. As you can see, it's one of these slimline lipsticks. One thing I did realize earlier though already, when you get it all out, that's it. It's fine. I think for a lipstick, it's a good amount of product, but that packaging could be so much smaller, which I think I would prefer. I mean, it's nice. It's It looks big and luxurious, but it would be nicer if that would maybe just a little bit smaller. It does actually... Does it say how much is in here? It says two grams, which I think is also quite ambitious to say that it's two grams because usually normal lipstick sizes are two grams but then normal lipstick bullets are usually actually let me get a normal one out here's a normal lipstick bullet they're much thicker but similar length and they are usually two grams as well just to show this as comparison but let's get this one swatched one thing i should also say with the lipstick from flower nose a lot of their colors but that's i think typical for asian bands they're quite dark i think um they tend to not to be in like nudie shades but the reason why I still went with this one is because, as you can see, um, it looked quite sheer. So dark, but at least sheer. And that makes me then happy because then, as a lipstick, I can sheer it out a little bit. Because I'm not the biggest fan of, like, too dark lipsticks at the moment. Or, like, I mean, maybe for special occasions, but not, like, for day-to-day -day wear. But that's it. And it's really cute with, like, the little focus with little bunnies printed on it as well. It's really heavy. So very nice. Then, next thing I got, also from the um, Circus series, I got the Gradient Blush. Um, is this 5 grams, that blush? Again, by the way, 
look at the packaging super nice super detailed plastic tray again and there we go again the packaging i mean they really it's not just like printed or bits in and then painted it literally it literally looks like different parts put together just for the cover and then i got the color zero one that's blue moonlight i got this one it seems to be very cool toned and also the gradient and that one just looked the best i found and there we go has a little cover on there look at the imprint this is just so cute again a little mirror as well even the mirror it looks so cute like the amount of details i always find like their makeup from far away it does look a bit like kids makeup but actually when you hold it in your hand it's just it's it's so nice okay let's swatch it how do we do it okay i will do the top bit ah, going in the pan the bottom bit and then both together i destroyed the pan a little bit sorry about that well why do i apologize to you there it looks like this so top bottom and mixed let's watch it on the inside of my arm top bottom bit and mixed there you can see i find like mixed it really um it nearly disappears on my skin so i think i'm better off using the bottom bit and maybe the top bit i could use a bit, little bit as a highlighter but i like it i like it um super nice the packaging is just incredible then next thing what did i got also from the circus collection i got the flower nose circus series loose powder super nice packaging again um let's open it up plastic on the inside again there we go so this is the loose powder tin. It looks like a circus tent. It's it feels quite heavy. I think the outside is actually tin. Um, it feels metal. It feels really cold. So that's probably metal. Actually, it does look like a circus tent from top. But if I look at it, it's more like a merry-go-round. The horses um, they seem to be repetitive here, so it doesn't change. But super nice. Let's open it up screw top yeah inside is plastic they can see actually the rim outside this is metal and then on the inside it's plastic comes with a little powder puff very cute very soft by the way and then let's open it up oh focus okay i did not open that one yet but it seems to be that um this maybe have moved a little bit in transport so that's a little cover and there you have the loose powder. As you can see, it's like one of these ones protected with a net. This one I actually um, I got because um, I saw Tara Babies on YouTube. She absolutely raved about this. And to be honest, oh my gosh, it's, I, you probably won't be able to detect anything on my hand. I put it here. It is, I, I can see the mattifying effect though. It feels so silky. So... I'm really happy to try this one out. I'm usually not the biggest fan of loose powders, but um, this one I'll definitely give a try. And yeah, it does feel super silky. Let me check how much it is. It's 15 grams and it's color zero one transparent. So happy with that as well. And then the last thing I got, um, what does it actually say? This is the Cameo blush. This is from their flower goddess series i think i think this is actually the most boring packaging out of all of the packaging it's nice it's still like um you can see the flowers they are like imprinted and then there's a little bit of gold on the front plastic on the inside again okay again it's also a bit of wasted packaging because there we go Okay, this one actually feels different this is not metal this feels like plastic it's which color did i got remembrance it's four grams and it's a blush um you can see on the front plastic it feels a bit like a christmas bauble and there you open it up so inside i actually thought there might be a mirror but there's not 
and then there's the protector and that's the blush this one i went for a blush i would get most usage out of it it's cute i kind of wanted to try this one this is why i got it um but i think compared to the other ones i prefer these compacts this is just really bulky so this will be nice to sit on my vanity but it would not be um very travel friendly and it will take a lot of space it is nice but very bulky if you consider that's the little bit of blush in there but let's watch this one oh, where do i swatch i don't want to destroy the little birdie in there uh let's go here there you go and I will swatch it next to the other one. Very faint. Very um, orangey. Well, not orangey. A bit of terracotta in there as well. I like it though. I definitely like it. I will use it. <laughs> that's what I'm going to say. It's not a color that puts me off. And that's what, what my main aim was. I wanted to get something. I wanted to see the packaging in person. But I also wanted to get something definitely wearable. And it is cute. And it will look gorgeous on my vanity. But... Um, it's not very travel friendly. I think I prefer these ones a bit more. Actually, my most favorite one is. Let me get that quickly. Whoopsie. Let me get that quickly. One sec. Okay, I got my other flower nose book. This is my absolute favorite, compact wise. Um, it's also a flower nose brush. I can't bring myself to use this one because I really. This is also my favorite from the imprint, but this compact is just so nice. It's comparison wise, it's a bit smaller than the one from the circus one, and I also got. A unicorn one but this one is definitely my favorite it's just the compact lies nicely in your hand it just looks gorgeous and it's not too bulky and just really really nice but yeah that's it for me today let me know what you think in the comments and i'll see you next time bye